reflection of light at spherical mirrors. In this video, let us learn about spherical mirrors. What are spherical mirrors? Spherical mirrors in which curved reflecting surface forms a part of a sphere. Spherical mirrors of two types. One is reflecting mirror is inverse, it is called concave mirror. If the reflecting surface is outwards, they call convex mirrors. The center of the reflecting surface is called the pole. The center of the surface, the center of the sphere is called center of curvature. The radius of this curvature is called radius of curvature. CP is here center of curvature. For concave mirror, the center of curvature lies at the front of the surface. For convex mirror, it lies at the back of the surface. The midpoint of pole and center of curvature is called focus. It is also called as principal focus. Now, let us focus on a concave mirror. Here is the focus. It is a point at which all the rays of light parallel to the principal axis converge. After reflection, let's understand this in detail. Let's take sun as an object. A beam of light rays passing through the sun. All these light rays are almost parallel. The sun emits light rays radially parallel. As the sun is very far from the earth, the rays coming from the sun are considered to be parallel. Let us consider the sun is at infinity from the mirror. All the parallel rays from the sun are incident on the mirror. These light rays will follow laws of reflection. The first law of reflection is angle of incidence is equals to angle of reflection. The second law is incident ray normal reflected ray lie in the same plane. All light rays after reflection meeting at the focus. These light rays are converging at focus. Here the image will form. This is the image of the sun and it is a real image. If we focus all these converging rays at a point on a paper, it will start getting hotter and after some time it may get fire because the temperature rises at the point. It is too much for the paper that's why it will get burned. Similarly we can take any object at infinity and the rays of light from the object will be parallel to each other. After reflection they are meeting at focus. So the rays of light parallel to principal axis after reflection they will converge at principal focus. This rule is applicable for the object at any distance from the mirror. The light rays will be parallel from the object and they will travel parallel to the principal axis after reflection. All these light rays will converge at a point that is called as the principal focus. Now let us learn what happens when parallel rays of light fall on a mirror making some angle with the principal axis. Let's find out. Observe these light rays. These are parallel to each other but not to the principal axis. These rays will be reflected in such a way that loss of reflection will be obeyed. If you observe carefully, all these light rays are converging at a point. This point is just above the principal focus, but it is not the focus. 
we know that we define focus as a point where all the parallel rays converge after reflection when the light rays are passing parallel to the principal axis after converging these light rays will meet at or converge at the principal focus now let us try to understand what happens when a light ray is passing through the focus that is principal focus let us take a single light ray passing through the principal focus after reflection it is passing parallel to the principal axis let us take two more light rays passing through the principal focus after reflection they are passing parallel to the principal axis by this we can conclude that the light rays passing through the principal focus after reflection they will travel parallel to each other this is true at any point behind the principal focus when the object is placed at the principal focus after reflection they travel parallel to each other so image doesn't form in this case 